Hello everyone, this is a part two of uh, Vivado Vitis Hello World application implementation on Cora uh, V7 board. Okay, so this part is more for um, uh, Vitis part. Previously, we suppose we already have the XSA file, which is uh, here, right? We have this XSA file, so the bit string is included. So let's start the Vitis because right now, we need to um, uh, implement this one on Vitis and uh, uh, prepare to download the FPG. So, where's Linux? Linux here. Not here. So, the version is the 2019.2. Uh, I'm using this version. So the procedure uh, is here. Uh, so right now we are uh, at here. I put it here. Let's say we are at the section 2.4. Uh. So let's wait the software to be launched. Okay, then we just follow the procedure over there we knew new new uh, platform project uh, close this welcome yeah this computer is slow we have to be bad with that So let's follow the manual. Let's say we still call this project the C E T U A R T F W F W means the firmware. So uh, be careful. Huh? So this is the uh, location. So later, uh, this location is very important at your computer on your computer. So this location can be different. So please remember this location. So later we need to go to this location, go to this workspace. Uh, so for me, let's say D slash project slash Xanix slash vitis then slash workspace okay then we select this one we've created uh, from um, xsa file because we have then we need to specify where is it so before that before that you need a copy so for example here this one is in your Vivado project i need a copy i copy then I go to this directory, right? So previously I said that this one is the important directory. I paste it here. So I need to go to the directory. I'm at the D drive, D drive projects, Linux, Vitis, workspace. This one, I need to specify this one. Okay. Uh, this we don't have too much to choose, just select finish. So, this is a platform project in Vitis. Wait for a while. Uh, it takes time. So we close this welcome. We can see the project is hidden here. So uh, at this side, this project side, we cl click this one. Board support package, uh, so called the BSP. We modify the BSP setting. So come here, let's say left side, we select a standalone. 
here this is a uh, stdio so here let's say we need to specify where is the stdio uh, because here let's say we're using it. so this we treat this um, uh, digital color border as a computer computer we have a standard input a standard output right so here we select this one ps7 underscore call site underscore comp underscore zero for standard output also same we select this one then we select ok so right now you can see uh, the project will be outdated because we change something right outdated then we right click uh, no not no, right click here uh, right click here let me see right click I build a project So this is the first part of the project in Vitis. Still building, you see, uh, status bar still running. Then after this project uh, uh, platform, the platform project, uh, we are going to create an application project. So, by the way, just wait for one. inside uh, it needs a couple of minutes uh, done okay uh, one minute plus right then we'll create application project so let's follow the menu we use the same name uh, then it's easy to com to compare Here we need to select this. This is a hardware platform, right? We need to select this. So this one just use a default. Then here, let's say we can see there is a hello world. Ah. So we click the finish. We just use this template. This is an application. So, what we can do is uh, to build the project. Uh, before building, if you want to have local source code, you can have loop. Hello world. Uh, yeah. So you can see this is just uh, just like a very simple uh, C program, right? But we have certain functions. This kind of function is. Uh, for the uh, zinc uh, platform okay so let's build uh, we need to wait for a while Okay, it's done, right? So it has been built. So right now, um, this is the end of the part two because for the part three, we are going to uh, program this one on the APG board. We need to click this one. But to do the uh, part three, we need um, uh, digital color board. Uh, so uh, see you in the next time. Mm.
拜拜。